New at five, a top Democrat is defending her comments after calling voters not smart if they reject raising taxes. It happened during debate on a proposal to allow counties and cities the ability to raise their local sales tax. CBS 58 Capital correspondent Emily Fannin has more on how this all unfolded. Emily. During the Wisconsin Counties Association Roundtable, Senate Minority Leader Janet Bewley was trying to persuade GOP leaders to support a local sales tax increase. But in doing so, she also said those who oppose one are not smart. Counties and cities like Milwaukee have urged lawmakers for years to allow them to raise their sales tax to help pay for investments in things like schools, roads, and fire departments. Folks are suffering. Uh, our communities are not able to deliver the essential services that our residents not only expect, but also quite frankly deserve. When legislative leaders discussed the topic, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss asked Senate Minority Leader Janet Bewley why not encourage counties to raise their property taxes to help boost revenues. But Bewley responded saying voters typically reject the idea. So if the voters turn it down, doesn't that mean that they don't support what you're advocating for? Perhaps that means that they're not smart, you know? Bewley stood by her comments, but later said in a statement it was a poor choice of words. As for the fate of a local sales tax increase, GOP leaders shot down the idea. There is no chance this is going to happen. It is dead on arrival. Never going to happen. The sales tax in Wisconsin has remained flat for years, which Milwaukee leaders said is putting their budgets in jeopardy to pay for services. So if you're not allowing us to raise revenue at the local level and cost for police services and fire services continue to rise, how do you expect us to make the bill? Counties can raise their property taxes through referendum, but Wisconsin law does cap those increases. Many Democrats say that leaves few options for counties and cities to raise revenues. Reporting live in Madison, Emily Fannin, CBS 58 News.